Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain frequency analysis of Hartley and Colbert's oscillator. Okay, this is the basic Hartley oscillator circuit, which has one amplifier and one feedback network. Okay, this amplifier produces 180 degrees phase shift and feedback network produces further 180 degrees phase shift. So total phase shift becomes 360 degrees. Okay. And if we design this circuit properly, that means mod A beta is equal to 1, then it produces sustained oscillations. But in this video, I will focus on frequency analysis. So that means frequency of oscillation derivation. So just observe the Hartley oscillator circuit. So it is a, it has one feedback network consists of L1, L2 and C. So here the feedback network is L1 and L2 and one capacitor. One capacitor C is there. So just observe this diagram, circuit diagram. So here between L1 and L2 it is ground edge. So this point is ground edge. So between L1 and L2, this point is ground. So this is L1, this is L2, this is C. We know that sum of the reactance in the tank circuit is equal to zero. Sum of the reactance in the tank circuit of a particular frequency that are zero on the. So therefore, XL1 plus XL2 plus XC is equal to zero. This is very, very important equation. Sum of the reactance in the tank circuit is equal to zero. And substitute the formula. So XL1, reactance of the inductor 1. So that is equal to J omega L1 plus XC2, reactance of the inductor 2. So therefore, XL2 is equal to J omega L2. XC, reactance of the capacitor, that is equal to minus j divided by omega c is equal to 0 and j omega l1 plus j omega l2 is equal to j divided by omega c. So here j omega is common, we will get l1 plus l2 is equal to j divided by omega c. So j is a cancel cross multiplication, we will get omega square into L1 plus L2 is equal to 1 by C. So omega square that L1 into L2, sorry, L1 plus L2 is equal to L equivalent, equivalent value of inductance that is equal to 1 by C. So therefore omega square is equal to L equivalent into C. So obviously omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of L equivalent into C. Substitute the formula for omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi F. So obviously F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L equivalent into C. So omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of L equivalent into C. So instead of omega just substitute 2 pi F. We will get F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L equivalent into C. Similarly, Colpitt's oscillator. Just observe the circuit diagram of a Colpitt's oscillator. So it has one amplifier, common emitter amplifier and one feedback network. That feedback network is a tank circuit. So between the C1 and C2, this point is grounded. So here 180 degrees phase shift is provided by the transistor amplifier and further 180 degrees is provided by the this tank circuit. So feedback network is a combination of capacitors and inductors. So this is C1, this is C2 and inductor. Yeah. So between C1 and C2, this is ground jet. This is C1, this is C2, this is L. Just observe the circuit diagram. Between C1 and C2, the middle point is ground edge. Okay, this point is ground edge. So, 
here also ground the fundamental equation is sum of the reactants in the tank circuit is equal to zero that means x c1 plus x c2 plus x l is equal to zero so substitute the formulas minus j divided by omega c1 minus j divided by omega c2 plus xl is equal to say omega L is equal to zero sum of the reactants in the tank circuit is equal to zero this is very very important equation so therefore say omega l is equal to j divided by omega c1 plus j divided by omega c2 so here j by omega is common we will get 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 so z omega l is equal to z divided by omega 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 that is equal to c1 plus c2 divided by c1 into c2 here also z and z cancel we will get omega square l is equal to c1 plus c2 divided by c1 c2 so therefore omega square is equal to 1 divided by l into c equivalent so what is c equivalent that c equivalent is equal to c equivalent is equal to c1 c2 c1 c2 divided by c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 so this is the very very important so obviously omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of l into c equivalent so substitute the formula for omega omega is equal to 2 pi f so obviously f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l into c equivalent just instead of omega here 2 pi f is substituted we we'll get f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalent. So, the, it's very easy. So, the only thing is one important equation. That is, sum of the reactants in the tank circuit is equal to 0. Okay. Thank you.